Hi everyone and welcome to CubeTube. Today we're going to look at another element. And today that element would be hydrogen. So what do we got here? Hydrogen, the simplest element in the periodic system. And before we're going through the properties, I'm first going to ask you a question. Let's first look at this cube. So, this is our first gas. Nice. So, this gas has an atomic mass of 1.008. It has element number one. And as you can see, it's a nice vial of hydrogen gas. Now, everybody may or may not know that hydrogen is very explosive. Well, is it though? Is hydrogen the most explosive element? And also, uh, what, what makes hydrogen so explosive? So, we will dig into that later when we get to its applications. Uh, but first, let's start with the properties. It has one proton and one electron, no neutrons. And the fun part about this is that a neutron is actually heavier than a hydrogen atom. So, yeah, that, that also implies very interesting things. But um, yeah, we get that in another video. It has isotopes H1, H2, and H3. Um, as you can see, it's a gas, and its melting point is minus 259 degrees Celsius. As I said, it's the simplest element. It contains just a electron, just a proton, nothing fancy. And it's a non-metal. But if you apply a lot of pressure to it, it can get metallic properties. Scientists, scientists think that it can be present in large quantities in the interiors of uh, Jupiter and, uh, and, and Saturn. And uh, metallic properties in this sense mean that it's mo that it's most uh, means mostly that it becomes a uh, conductor of electricity. Now this is why Jupiter has such a strong magnetic field. And even though it's in the first group, as you can as you can see, um, it's not considered an alkali metal. Hydrogen comes from the Greek word. Uh, it comes from Greek, and it uh, it means water shaper. Udor means water, and gen means to shape. You can also see this in the word halogen, salt shaper, or oxygen, uh, oxide shaper. It was discovered in 1781 by Cavendish. And in the Big Bang, it was one of the few elements that were created. Besides hydrogen, uh, helium, um, and little beryllium and lithium were also created. All the other elements that we now know of, of course not tennessine and organesson that you see there, are formed in stars. It's the first element of the periodic system, because it is, well, one proton. And, well, it can be very explosive and flammable. And why that is, again, we will touch on that subject later. It likes to form, with all kinds of other elements, bonds, such as oxygen. Um, if you combine oxygen and uh, hydrogen, which are both, and this is really interesting, both gases, you get water. Now, if you combine it with chloride, and you also add a little bit of water to it, you get hydrochloric acid which is a very strong acid that you should not get on your hands. Now, you could say that the sun contains about 90% hydrogen and 9% helium, which is sometimes being said. But these titles that you sometimes see, um, are do, they do not tell the whole story. Hydrogen is, as I mentioned, a lot lighter than, for instance, helium. If you would count the mass of the actual atoms, you would find out that, yes, 90% of the atoms may be hydrogen, uh, in the sun, but it would add, to, uh, add up to an absolute mass of 70% of the mass of the sun. So even though you have a lot of atoms that are hydrogen, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually a lot of mass as well, because it's such a light, uh, light atom. Now the same goes for humans. We are made out of water for 60 to 80%. However, water is made of H2O. And the mass of H2O is roughly 
18 atomic mass units, or AMU. Out of that 18 AMU, only two AMU are hydrogen. So even if the most atoms in your body are hydrogen, they would only make up to a small amount of your actual mass. Now, let's get to the applications. What do we use it for? Well, we use it for ammonia to clean stuff. We use it for um, fuel, for cars and buses these days. It's a yeah, new, more uh, CO2-free way of, uh, of fuel. And when people talk about hydrogen, uh, many people will also think of nuclear fusion. Well, at least I think about it, which will very likely make me a very, very weird man. Now, there are many types of, uh, of nuclear reactions that bear the name nuclear fusion. Now, the one that mankind is mostly interested in is the 2H plus 3H uh, uh, nuclear reaction, uh, or nuclear fusion reaction. And why is that? We hope to someday create lots of energy with that. We already know this process, and uh, when it's uncontrolled, we call it the hydrogen bomb. And we know how much energy it basically has. And even though it's not the nicest form to use uh, to use hydrogen, um, yeah, like like the famous physicist Richard Feynman said, to every man is given the key to the gates of heaven. The same key opens the gates of hell. And so it is with science. A different form of nuclear fusion is one that goes a lot slower and happens at extreme temperatures such as 100 to 115 million degrees Celsius. It's a form that is currently working for us and is providing us also with an almost unlimited amount of energy. energy. This energy source would be the sun. Now the sun is actually just a giant nuclear fusion ball um, that is providing us energy to use for instance through the use of solar panels. The fusion on the sun, as mentioned, is not an explosion. It's just a very slow nuclear fusion reaction. Now, to get to the question. The question was, is hydrogen the most explosive element? Well, the answer is no. No, it's not the most explosive element. In fact, you cannot say that an element is explosive or not because an element will not explode just by itself, at least not chemically, as there is nothing to react with. You can say that a reaction is very heavy or, or non-heavy, or that an, um, that an element is very reactive with other elements. That is something you can say. Well, if we say that, is hydrogen then a very reactive element? Well, yes. Um, hydrogen does have a few elements that it can react with very, very heavily, such as oxygen. If you have H2 and you have O2 and you combine it, it will give you a very, very heavy reaction that we would consider a big explosion. Well, if I missed anything that uh, we also use hydrogen for, by all means, leave it in the comments. And if you like this video, click the like button or uh, subscribe. Thank you very much and uh, see you next week.